Good morning, Ravens. I'm Cami Gibson alongside Savannah Plumley. This week we have coverage of A&E's Freshman to the Moon and Back Challenge and a Black Belt Flash Magician here at LNW. Let's get started. Many students walk the halls of Louisville Northwest and have hidden talents. Sophomore Ryan Devers shares his story. Isabel and Cammie have more. Ryan Devers, sophomore at ONW, has been practicing Taekwondo for 13 years. So this kid came in and uh, he had like, uh, I think it was like a white belt. So he just started a Taekwondo or something. And I was like, oh, I want to do that too. And then we found a place and that's how I started. He is currently in the process of training for his third degree black belt and will test in April. Devers commits around 20 hours a week at Korea American Taekwondo Studio to train. Training can be difficult and sometimes dangerous. Um, I broke my collarbone four times and I uh, shattered my kneecap. There are various skills he needs to be able to master in order to earn his belt. I really enjoy practicing a lot of uh, cool kicks. I also enjoy breaking, which is just like you take boards and then do something cool and try to break it. Taekwondo is not Ryan's only talent, however, he also enjoys doing magic tricks. Although he has only been doing magic for a few years, he impressed Cammie and I with his tricks. This is actually going to go into the deck, see? It goes all the way in. But anytime you snap your fingers, see how it jumps to the top, oh right? Just like that. Now, not only is it the si only six of clubs in the deck, only six of clubs with your name on it, but now it's the only bent card. Ready? Uh -huh. Now watch. I'll put it in the middle. From the middle, one, two, three. Devers learns his tricks from books by imitating famous magicians, and he even makes up some of his own. I think my favorite trick is you'll have someone think of a card and flip it upside down on the deck, and then you'll pull out a deck of cards and the same thing's flipped over that they thought of. For ONW Now, this has been Isabel Lobby. Now back to the desk. The freshmen involved in aerospace and engineering competed in a design challenge at KU. Sean has the full story. On November 5th, KU hosted To the Moon and Back, a high school design competition. The aerospace and engineering freshmen took second overall. Mr. Edmondson teaches the students how to make the catapults to compete. Uh, they go through a design process. The students first start on paper, uh, drawing different kind of ideas. They brainstorm, they research. Um, once they select an idea, they the students all use either drills, hand saws, band saw uh, to go through actually construction of it. We go through a testing process um, and modifications after those tests. Over 700 students from across the Kansas City metro area attended, and of those 700 students, 95 of them were from Northwest. Benny Tafera competed at KU. Uh, the competition was held on the KU engineering campus in Lawrence. Um, from the competitions that we entered, there was about five different schools that I saw. I really enjoyed the KU design competition because um, not only was it fun to actually compete with our catapults and the stuff we built, but also it gave us a lot of insight on uh, engineering and how the field works, and we also got to see what KU has to offer in their engineering field. From designing to competing, the students learned the competitive aspects of engineering and had a great time competing. The students are excited to compete in future events. For ONW Now, I'm Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. Finally, as we grieve, if you know anyone that needs support, reach out. If you suspect someone is suicidal, please let someone know. There is always a solution and you are loved. The Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255. For Savannah Plumley, I'm Cammie Gibson. Stay strong, Ravens. We'll see you next week.